Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 13 from chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the examples 1 to 6, 11 and 12, exercises 3.1 and 3.2. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 13 from chapter 3, pair of linear equation in two variables says, the sum of a two digit number and number obtained by reversing the digit is 36. If the digits of the number differ by 2, find the number. How many such numbers are there? So here they are saying us that we have a two digit number. So we should take sum of a two digit number and number obtained by reversing digits. That will be equal to 66. So here since they are saying us that we should consider a two digit number. For example, let us take 54. So 54 is a two digit number where 5 is one digit and 4 is another digit. So this number 5 is at tens place and number 4 is at ones place, right? So 5 into 10 plus 4 into 1 gives us this number. That is 50 plus 4 into 1 is 4. So we will get 54, right? This is how a number is formed. So here we don't know what are those two digit numbers. So let us assume, let the first digit b x and the second digit b y write down let the first digit b x similarly let the second digit b y so since we are considering a number with two digits as x and y here x and y forms a two digit number which can be written as x is in tens place and y is in ones place so this number can be written as x into 10 plus y into 1 so this will become 10x plus y right and we have to also take reverse Reversing the digits, we have to take a number by reversing the digits. So reversing these digits, it will be yx. So this number can be written as since y is in tens place now. So this will be y into 10 plus x into 1. So this will be 10y plus x. So this will be the number formed after reversing the digits that is yx. So here in the question they are saying us that we have to take sum of a two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the digits. So what is the two digit number we have assumed? It is xy. It is written as 10x plus plus y plus we have to take the number by reversing the digits after reversing the digits we get y x and the number obtained is 10 y plus x right so this sum is equal to 66 so now 10 x plus x here will be 11 x plus 10 y plus 1 y will be 11 y equal to 66 so taking 11 outside a common we get x plus y equal to 66 or x plus y will be 66 divided by 11 that is 11 1 times 11 6 times right so this will be x plus y equal to 6 that is equation number 1 the second statement what they have given the question is if the digits of the number differ by 2 here what are the digits of the number we assume to be x and y we will take x minus 2 difference means x minus y right x minus y is equal to 2 let this be second equation the second condition given here is if the digits of the number differ by 2 so which are the two digits here x and y we can write x minus y difference means we have to take minus equal to 2 this will be the first condition or the second condition will be we can also take y minus x equal to 2 right so any of these two conditions are possible so in our first condition we will take x minus y equal to 2 as equation 2 and in second condition we will take y minus x equal to so let this be equation number so in our first condition we will solve equation 1 and 2 by elimination method and find out the x and y value and then we can find out the number by substituting in this 10x plus y similarly in second condition we will take the first equation and the third equation and again we will determine the x and y value to find out the number by substituting substituting the x and y value in 10x plus 5 okay so in a first condition consider equations 1 and 2 so in 1 and 2 we get equations as x plus y equal to 6 and x minus y equal to 
टू हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द कोफिशियंस ऑफ बोथ एक्स एंड वाई आर इक्वल इन बोथ द इक्वेशन सो ईदर वी कैन एलिमिनेट एक्स और वाई वी ऑल्सो नोटिस दैट साइंस ऑफ वाई आर प्लस एंड माइनस सो नो नीड टू चेंज द साइन और मल्टीप्लाई विथ एनी कोफिशियंट हियर देर फोर वी कैन एलिमिनेट एक्स डिरेक्टली बाई सब्रैक्शन सो दिस प्लस एक्स एंड प्लस एक्स विल बिकम टू एक्स टू एक्स दिस दिस प्लस वाई एंड माइनस वाई विल गेट कैंसिल एंड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट इज सिक्स प्लस टू इट इज एट राइट सो वी गॉट टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट और एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू टू वन टाइम्स टू फोर टाइम्स सो वी गॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर सब्सटीट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यू इन इक्वेशन वन सो वी गेट फोर प्लस वाई इक्वल टू सिक्स और sending this 4 to right hand side we get y is equal to 6 minus 4 therefore we get y is equal to 2 right so from our first condition we got x equal to 4 and y is equal to 2 so let us substitute in the number that is hence the number is 10x plus y so here x value is 10 into 4 plus y value is 2 so we get 10 into 4 is 40 plus 2 so that is equal to 40 2 so here we got the number 42 so in second condition we will consider the equations 2 and 3 second condition consider so now we have to consider the equations 1 and 3 so from equation 1 we can write x plus y equal to 6 and y minus x is equal to 2 so this equation 1 can be rewritten as y plus x equal to 2 third equation is y minus x equal to 2 so here we observe that no need to multiply any coefficient here because if we eliminate x the coefficient of x from both the equation is equal that is 1 and also we notice that the sign is plus and minus so no need to change the sign also therefore x term gets eliminated so here y plus y will become 2y equal to 6 plus 2 will become 8 so we got 2y is equal to 8 or y is equal to 8 by 2 so 2 1 times 2 4 times therefore we have y is equal to 4 right now let us substitute this value in equation 1 and find out the x value x plus y value is 4 is equal to 6 or x is equal to 6 minus 4 x is equal to 2 so here we got x equal to 2 and y is equal to 4 now let us substitute in our number two digit number that is 10x plus y so substituting we got 10 into 2 plus y as 4 so this will be 20 plus 4 therefore the number obtained will be 24 from the second condition so here we obtain two numbers that is 42 and 24 from the given condition in the question therefore we will write down the answer as so the number which satisfies the given equations are 42 and 24 right this is very easy problem if you understand the question in a proper way so this is how we solve this example 13 if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number 1 from exercise 3.4 chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables So till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing whole syllabus for class 10th SLC and cert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen